The Staten Island tanning salon owner says he is going to open for business Thursday morning in defiance of government orders. Sunbelievable owner Bobby Catone has two salons, one in Great Kills and another one in Totenville. Catone says that if supermarkets and other businesses can open, he doesn't understand why tanning salons cannot. Joining me now, that tanning salon owner, Bobby Catone. Bobby, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Bill, how are you? You're going to open tomorrow morning in about 12 hours. Tell me uh, what prompted that decision. Basically, I'm going to be the face of Staten Island businesses who are afraid to open because of the repercussions and ramifications of fines, possibly taking uh, uh, your licenses away, and they can't afford that long term. So I said, you know what? I'm willing to step up, step to the plate, and speak for everybody in a peaceful, calm way, open up in a peaceful, calm way, and try to get things rolling. Let me ask you, Bobby, what does this mean to your employees to be able to open up again? My employees were happy happier than I was. Bobby, I know you, you've you got a good attorney on your team. Uh, what do you expect to happen? Do you expect the cops to show up tomorrow and shut you down? To be honest with you, if we have enough support system behind us, hopefully if they see that we're operating in a way that is civil and peaceful, that they'll say, all right, go about it. Maybe, you know, like they did with the gym uh, down in South Jersey. Bobby, God bless you. Stay uh, stay strong and keep the faith, and uh, let's make sure we stay in touch. Thanks for reaching. I appreciate it. It's, it's very important. Uh, it's a very important issue to small businesses that we take risks um, building a business for years, in my case, 25 years, to be taken away and with no exit strategy. And we did our part, and now it's time for them to do their part and let us open up. All right. Thank you, Bobby. Be well. Thank you.